Amy's view is that the dispute for the first place in terms of total iron production will increase between Vale and Rio. Amy expects these companies will produce around 340 to 360 million tons each after the completion of expansions and ramp-ups of new projects. BHP was expected to maintain similar levels of production in 2016 at about 240 million tons. However, the company is reviewing this target after the suspension of some aquas production in Brazil due to a tailings dam burst accident. Amy expects the Roy Hill project will quickly ramp up production and achieve about 30 million tons of iron ore sales in 2016, completing the ramp up in 2017 to 55 million tons per annum. Anglos Minas Rio project should complete the ramp up to 26.5 million tons per annum later in 2016, after producing about 10 million tons in 2015. Valley's 90 million tons per annum S11D project is now approximately 60% complete and we believe it, would, it could produce about 10 million tons in 2016. LCAP's expansion in Sweden remain on track to increase output by 15 to 20 million tons per annum of high-grade pellet feed. And in the US, SI Minnesota Dashwalk project is expected to start production later in 2016. But AME believes initial production could be further delayed due to lower domestic iron ore prices in the region. The main change in product mix for the Asian market will be growth in medium grade iron ore supply, particularly from Australia, with very limited supply growth in the lower grade space. The replacement of Chinese iron ore concentrate production by more Australian coarse synthet fines should reduce the amount of ultra fines in the synthet feed plants, as well as a small decrease in the average synthet feed iron grade. As the level of impurities increases, Steel producers will probably have to deal with higher levels of slag in the blast furnace or increase the amount of higher grade ores in the blend.